have a new record out, and it's my, it's my baby. Actually, it's already come out, and it's coming out again on November 13th, which is weird, but that's how they do it sometimes in record stuff. I don't understand, but it's, it's twins, guys. It's twins. I, I don't think I've... I don't know. I don't think I've actually had it in person in New York yet. I think the last time I was here, it was still hypothetical. It was still printing somewhere in, in New Jersey. Uh, and then... Uh, but yes, now it's here, so we'll do a few songs from that record. Um, this, uh, that first song was one of them. That song's about spaceships. Most of my songs are secretly about spaceships. Um, and, uh, and this one is mostly about spaceships, but also it's about Jane Austen. So. Uh, she wrote a lot about spaceships, unbeknownst to most people. So. It was a veiled language, yeah. This is a song about, um, it's called Dear Mr. Darcy. And uh, the double clicks and I are waiting for Molly to please kindly deliver on her <laughs> Mr. Darcy song. Our anticipation is growing palpable. Yeah. Okay. They drank all the pills and went ate all the oranges and she thought of the rotten and rusted oranges squealed as he left. How remarkably deftly, how utterly thoroughly he failed to confess. He evaded the point and eluded the mood. She meant to convey when she'd laid out the food. Even put up her hair, but the boy wouldn't bite and it was almost sexy, but not quite. Na 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 Still, how could she fret when she won that small bet with a well-meaning friend who had sworn it would end with a kiss and a cry and a happy reveal? For what man could resist such a gem of a meal? She'd collect on the cash, but her victory stung. She cursed at the cat and had captured her tongue. She broke out the chocolate and started to write, and it was almost helpful, but not quite. Dear sir, I've been dropping hints like bricks on you. We were both rehearsing for this awkward interview. Oh, I'm done with making small talk and I'm done with being scared because I heard from a friend of a friend that you came with your speaking points prepared. Dear sir, I am taking matters into my own hands. I hope I do if I dare to take this chance But do not underestimate me For it will closer and you'll find That if you peel back the polite There might be something fierce inside Remember the fact where the two of us met there's a boat from the blue, well, our social ineptness. The cool kids swarmed, we clung to the corner. That's how my poor heart before I could warn her. Broke from the bunch to bolt to your side. The rest of me followed a bit starry eyed. And you took off your hat and you bought me some wine. And it was almost awkward, but not quite. We'd rather observe than be part of the crush. So you uncapped your camera and framed the good times. I'd have to use napkin to scrape with some lines. And the chemistry swept us both off our toes. You shot no one else. I couldn't compose. You said I was sweet, nearly kissed me goodnight. And it was almost perfect, but not quite. No, dear sir, you've been dropping hints like bombs. It's A and B. I'm done with making small talk, and I'm done with being scared. Because I noticed just how many times tonight you ran your fingers through your hair. Dear sir, I am taking matters into my own hands. I think that I might love you, and I hope you'll understand. And if I beat you to the punch, it's just because my patience tries.
future with all of my will, but unfortunate me, you can see how I fail. I've been waiting a year, I've been waiting for you, been biting my tongue, and I'm almost through. Dear sir, I'm dropping my last card for you. I'm fearful and I'm foolish and I'm agitated too. But all this anticipation without consummation, it's hard on a poor girl's pride. And though I doubt I'll send this letter, if I did, you'd see.